Yeah, no, not, not too long. That's better. Ooh, that beautiful day. Sunday morning. I'm a little slower today. But you know, my dad always told me, if you're gonna go and party with the boys all night, better get up with the men. So let's get at her. Chores, plant some corn. By the way, that was socially distanced beers that we had on Zoom or whatever that is called. Oh, get into my work clothes. Get my day rolling. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but they're happy. I can hear them. They're happy I'm here to check them out. So what we do this morning, I go in there, I go and look at each and every one of them, make sure they're happy, healthy, nothing's wrong. Make sure they got feed, water, uh, and check out production for the day. Uh, but I will show you all that in later videos, but already I can hear, they're happy. All right, we're out here checking one of my fields. Just uh, basically grab a shovel, stick her in, pop her up, flip the dirt. Just a little bit moist yet. It's not too bad. Um, if I worked it, it would dry out really quick. Um, but no-till is a patient game. Um, it'll still go today with the sun and wind. Uh, but I just got to wait probably till about noon. A little more sunshine. As you can see, that top is nice and dry. And then we look over there and it's just a little bit, see it's darker, it's a little moist. It'll still plant nice, but it will plant better if I wait. So we're just gonna wait for a few hours. I got other things to do, so it's all right. All right, while I'm waiting for that field to get a little nicer, I'm just going over my corn seed here and deciding which varieties I'm gonna be planting in which order. Um, we plant everything with bags, so just got to organize. Sometimes they're organized perfectly, sometimes what you want is on the bottom. It's a good workout though. Yeah, I do plant our soybeans in bulk, which is a little nicer. But if you watch the other videos, my corn planter has individual boxes, 12 individual boxes, so it's hard to split a tote properly. So this way is just fine. And with corn, you don't go through as many units as soybeans per acre, so I slug the bags. Let's get at her. Just got to the field, so we gotta put this, get all the locks out. Coming apart on the road or unfolding on the road, that wouldn't be very good. It shouldn't, but safety.
you guys, Canadian farmer back here, uh, planting again finally. I'm just gonna give a shout out to my buddy TJ Ritchie. Uh, he's seen this on YouTube and he wanted to bring his drone out and get some cool shots. So uh, I'll be uploading those to you guys so you can see them. And I'm excited too, because I don't get to see myself plant. So. Here. As for the uh, shark teeth units, the trash whippers, um, I don't know, I see a lot of guys you can hydraulically or um, use air and put them up and down, uh, but with what I do, I set them and forget them. I don't ever have an issue with them going too deep or too high. Um, if I go from a no-till condition to work conditions, they seem to be set up just perfect. Now, it took quite a few tries to get them set up like that, but once, once I got them there, I, I haven't changed that height in two years now. So that's quite nice because it, it's not that fun of a job, but conveniently the Kinsey, with it going right up in the air uh, and locking, you can work on it right at a nice height on you. So it wasn't really that bad. <laughs> Why do I grow corn? It's cost effective. I can feed it, opposed to buying it for the chickens. Um, you know, but, and then when I'm growing the corn, I know where it's, you know, how it's grown, and I put a lot of hard work into it, and I feel good about feeding it to the chickens. Um, you know, we go over nutritional facts all the time for them. I send uh, all this stuff away when it's grown and in the bin. Uh, just to get tested, to know the protein levels and energy levels um, so I can feed the chicken a good product. That way I can get good grades. Um, you know, and it all comes down to making that egg and that egg is really what supports this family farm. Um, so everything I can do to keep some money in my pocket, uh, it's what we do. So again, I just want to give a huge thanks to TJ who came out and let me use his GoPro for the day. Um, I will probably be buying one of those. It's a pretty slick setup. Uh, he did some drone footage for me. Um, he's actually a house builder, uh, Richie Home Home Building, I believe it is. Um, if you're in Southern Ontario and you need a house built, you should probably give him a call. 